Welcome, nature enthusiasts. Get ready to embark on an extraordinary journey as we unveil the incredible comeback stories of animals that defied extinction. From the depths of history to the present day, witness the astonishing resilience of these remarkable creatures. Life as we know it is full of wonders, and their rediscoveries are a bewildering reminder that when given a chance, life finds a way to survive. Here's a list of 20 animals thought lost forever and found again. Only time will tell if they will stay around. Number 1. Night Parrot The night parrot is a small parrot endemic to the continent of Australia. It is one of the most elusive and mysterious birds in the world. With no confirmed sightings of the bird between 1912 and 1979, leading to speculation that it was extinct. Sightings since 1979 have been extremely rare, and the bird's population size is unknown, though based on the paucity of records it is thought to number between 50 and 249 mature individuals, and it is classified by the IUCN as a critically endangered species. A few sightings or recordings of its presence, with varying degrees of certainty, have occurred in the Pilbara region of Western Australia, southwestern Queensland, and the Lake Eyre Basin in South Australia. Number 2. Blue Iguana All other iguanas look rather boring once you've clapped eyes on this beauty, only found in the Cayman Islands, and once on a fast track to extinction due to the combined forces of development, human disturbance, increasing road traffic, and introduced animals. By 2002, just 15 or so remained. The reptile's fortunes changed when Cambridge University student Fred Burton took up a post in the island's Mosquito Research and Control Unit in the 1980s and stumbled across one individual while out on a survey. Smitten, he dedicated his work life to protecting this iconic animal through a breeding program launched in 1990. In 2018, the 1,000th blue iguana was released into the wild. With the population restored, work is now focusing on conservation. Number 3. Gould's Mouse The comeback kid of the rodent world, Western Australia's Gould's Mouse, had been thought extinct for more than 150 years. Its demise tied to the arrival of Europeans, who introduced invasive species such as feral cats and foxes, was then exacerbated by the clearance of land for agriculture. A bolt from the blue came in early 2021, when scientists from the Australian National University discovered that the Shark Bay Mouse, which lives on a handful of islands off Western Australia, is in genetic terms virtually identical to Gould's mouse. Numbering just 2,000, the mouse isn't out of the woods yet, but ecological restoration initiatives could help to ensure its survival. Number 4. Red Kite This bird is possibly one of the biggest success stories in UK conservation history. Red kites had vanished from England by 1871 and from Scotland by 1879, wiped out by human persecution. By 1903, just a few clung on in Wales. Conservation efforts started in earnest, yet numbers remained low. In the past 30 years, red kites have been reintroduced to the Chilterns, East Midlands, Yorkshire and Northeast England. They were initially brought to the UK from Spain and Germany, but the Chilterns' reintroduction proved so successful that those birds were used to repopulate other areas. Red kites are now one of the UK's fastest increasing species, thanks largely to work by larger organizations. Number 5. Northern Pool Frog Similar in size to the common frog, the Northern Pool Frog, only found in East Anglia and a handful of Northern European countries, vanished from England in 1995 after falling water levels rendered its breeding ponds unsuitable. A decade later, a top-secret project kicked into gear, which aimed to return these amphibians to Norfolk. Number 6. American Bison 60 million bison once roamed the North American plains, but by the end of the 19th century fewer than 600 remained. As slow-moving easy targets, they were hunted ruthlessly for hides and meat, for sport and as a way to starve indigenous people into submission. The creature's fortune started to change in the late 1800s, when a small number of ranchers started to rear their own herds, bred from captive bison, before re-releasing them into the wild. Today, American bison number about 500,000, 
and there are numerous safeguards to ensure the species' survival, including the National Bison Legacy Act of 2016. Number 7. Checkered Skipper Butterfly This delicate orange and brown beauty flew its last flight in England in 1976, a result of the loss of the open, damp woodland rides and clearings on which it depends. In 2016, a host of conservation organizations from the Back from the Brink project banded together to restore it, using individuals from the Ardennes forests of Belgium. Number 8. Eurasian Beaver Throughout the UK, beavers are bouncing back. Once prized for their soft, thick fur and perfume-like musk, these supersized rodents were hunted to extinction in the 16th century. Conservationists spent years fighting for their reintroduction, buoyed on by successful programs on the continent that have seen beaver dams help to restore wetlands and reduce flooding. Since then, there have been releases throughout England, Scotland and Wales. In September 2021, three generations of the same beaver family were spotted on the River Avon, thought to be the first time beavers have established themselves without human help in 400 years. Number 9. Rarotonga Flycatcher This small, beautiful bird is native to Rarotonga, the largest of the Cook Islands. Many of the archipelago's birds went extinct in the 19th century, following the arrival of Europeans, who introduced cats to the islands, though rats are also a major threat. The flycatchers were presumed extinct until surveys in the 70s and 80s uncovered small numbers. Then, in the 1980s, the Cook Islands Conservation Service initiated the Kakarori Recovery Program, which helped to reduce the number of rats and protect the birds' nests. Number 10. Eastern Barred Bandicoot 2021 marked a major milestone in the world of species recovery, the first time that an Australian species has been reclassified from extinct in the wild to endangered. The creature in question is the Eastern Barred Bandicoot, a rabbit-sized marsupial native to the states of Victoria and Tasmania, whose numbers were decimated by a combination of both habitat loss and an increase in the number of predators. By the late 1980s, only 150 remained, prompting the creation of a recovery team tasked with saving the species from extinction. Number 11. Echo Parakeet Feral cats were one of many factors along with loss of habitat and food that spelled disaster for this neon-drenched endemic of Mauritius. Numbers in steady decline since the late 17th century had plummeted to about 20 by the 1980s. Luckily, the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation, aided by the Zoological Society of London, came to the parakeet's rescue with the launch of various conservation projects. One of these involved creation of the Black River Gorges National Park in 1994, which is now home to a thriving 700-strong population. Number 12. Spix's Macaw Spix's macaw is the latest species to return from the brink of extinction and be reintroduced into its native Brazil, thanks to a remarkable conservation effort. Its plight was highlighted in the 2011 animated film Rio, which told the story of a caged Spix's macaw named Blue and helped raise awareness of the species on a mass scale. Around two dozen Spix's macaws were being held in private collections around the world, which were gathered together to launch a captive breeding program. In 2022, eight were released back into the wild, accompanied by eight wild illagers macaws, who acted as trainers for the Spix's macaws, who had reduced instinctive survival skills following their time in captivity. Number 13, Orange-Bellied Parrot. In 2017, only three female orange-bellied parrots remained in the wild. And last spring, only 23 birds arrived at their breeding site in Tasmania's southwest wilderness. Scientists predicted that they were at risk of extinction within five years. But last winter, more than 118 birds were recorded flying north for the season. It was the first time the orange-bellied parrot population topped 100 in over a decade. Number 14. Shouse Swallowtail Butterfly there were only four of these once abundant swallowtail butterflies to be found in their native regions of southern Florida back in 2012. Researchers at the University of Florida jumped to their aid, and two years later, their breeding program yielded 1,000 larvae, 
from which 50 grown butterflies and 200 caterpillars were released into Biscayne National Park. By 2016, hundreds were counted out in the wild. Number 15, lesser long-nosed bat. These adorable winged mammals, vital to pollinating the agave that's used to make tequila, were declared endangered in 1998, thanks to habitat loss and eradication programs meant to target rabies-carrying vampire bats, according to National Geographic. But 29 years later, this became the first species ever removed from the U.S. endangered species list. Protections for the caves and mines where the bats live, both here and in Mexico, restored their numbers, and an estimated 200,000 of them now flit through the night skies. Number 16, California condor. It's not the loveliest of birds, but this largest of all North American avians, with a wingspan of some 10 feet, is an important carry-on feeder, critically endangered due to lead poisoning, pesticides, and a host of other factors. It's been on the watch list since 1987, but even now, after years of captive breeding and release into the wild, its numbers still hover at about 12. Number 17, brown pelican. It's not easy being feathered when seemingly every fancy lady would have you shot in order to furnish her with hats. Though it survived the plume hunters of the 19th century, the brown pelican later fell prey to chemicals in the environment until its population had declined severely. Conservation efforts starting in the 1970s brought it back and it was delisted in 2009. Number 18, Elephant Shrew. The last time anyone recorded a sighting of the Somali elephant shrew was almost 50 years ago, after which it was assumed to have become extinct. Then, in August 2020, a team of researchers and academics reported that these tiny, odd-looking creatures were alive and well. Also known as the Somali Sengi, this mouse-sized animal with its distinctive elongated nose is thriving across the Horn of Africa. Number 19, De Winton's Golden Mole. Named after zoologist William Edward de Winton, the de Winton's Golden Mole only had one known habitat within the sands of Port Noloth, South Africa. However, the species seemingly vanished, as it hadn't been seen since 1937. In 2017, a drive to locate the moles kicked off, leading to a survey in 2021 to find them. Yet in 2023, after two years of looking and with the aid of sniffer dog Jesse, conservationists discovered the golden mole in the dunes. However, mining in the area has been threatening their habitat. Yet, with proof of the mole's existence and the suggestion there's a healthy population of them, agencies are looking to implement an environmental impact assessment to protect the species from developers. Number 20. Mahogany Glider the mahogany glider is a small species of gliding possum that was first described in 1883 by Charles Walter de Vis, a noted zoologist. As a result of habitat destruction and predation by introduced species, the species disappeared shortly after its discovery. It was believed to be extinct for more than a century. However, in 1989, a small group of mahogany gliders were rediscovered and a recovery plan was developed by the Queensland government to protect their habitat. A captive breeding program has since been established at David Flea Wildlife Park. There are an estimated 1,500 mahogany gliders currently left in the wild. But now I want to hear from you. If you could bring one extinct animal back to life, which one would it be? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you are interested in more animals that came back from extinction, Make sure to watch my other video right here, where I talk about 20 more animals that came back from extinction. Make sure to watch it, because there are some truly extraordinary creatures there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys there.